learning new things is fun and oftentimes if we are learning something new and we see a couple different perspectives of it it helps it to stick more and be remembered more in our minds in the previous few nuggets we've taken a look at the concept of a protocol stack and just as a quick summary with a protocol stack we have the application layer and the tcp ip protocol stack we have application layer services uh, functions and things that we want things like name resolution with dns so that way when bob types in www.remoteserver.com a dns server can respond back and say oh that's this ip address and then bob can continue on his way or if bob wants to go to a web page the application layer service is going to be something like http that's going to be making that request for the web page but those application layer protocols don't work by themselves they need a little help they need things like transport layer protocols whether it's dns that uses udp or http which uses tcp they need to have those associated protocols to help them get the, the message across and then at the network layer we have protocols such as ip version 4 with ip addresses that are added and then as we go down to layer 2 on an ethernet network we have layer 2 ethernet addresses that are added and then at the physical layer those messages are then spit out bit by bit over the network and intended hopefully they're delivered to the final destination so what i wanted to do is present a slightly different way and a fun way of talking about that same process in the protocol stack that you can replicate and talk to your friends or loved ones about how a protocol stack operates so we'll start off with a service i'm going to use a cup for this so let me see if, make sure i get that in the camera there we go great so we have an app or a service at the application layer and we're going to choose dns and from our previous nugget, DNS is used behind the scenes when Bob tries to go to www.somegreatwebsite.com. DNS is there to make uh, answer the question, what is the IP address associated with that? So let's say for this example that this cup re represents a DNS request looking for the IP address behind a website name. So this is the application layer service. Now behind the scenes, DNS is going to be using the transport layer protocol of UDP, user datagram protocol. So we're going to add that component right here and we're going to hit UDP and we're going to go ahead and put it like this. So the UDP is now going to have the information on the transport protocol, which is UDP and its ports. It's also going to have as its payload, the actual DNS request. Now the transport layer, in this case, UDP needs a little help from layer three, which is the network layer. And at the network layer, that's where we add the IP addresses, the source IP address, of the client who's making the request and the destination IP address of the server we're trying to reach. So we'll add that on as a separate layer. So there we have, so on the top of the transport protocol, which is UDP in this example, we'll then add a header that contains the IP address information. And then after the IP address is there, we also need to have on an ethernet network, we need to have the layer two ethernet addresses, those network interface card addresses that are burned in from the factory to those network adapters. So to do that, we add another layer of information, another header, and that's the data link layer, layer two. And in this example, we're using MAC addresses, the ethernet addresses on the network interface cards. And once we've done that, and all that information is now here, ready to go, we then spit those out on the physical network one bit at a time, and they're sent across the network. And they're reassembled by intermediate network devices and the final server who then takes a look, oh, this is for me, it's my address, it's my IP address, it's UDP port 53 on the server. Ah, it's a DNS request. And then if it responds, it builds back <laughs> another response that includes the UDP response, the uh, answer, the DNS answer, including the UDP protocol, including the correct IP addresses, including the correct layer two addresses. If my couple release, there we go. And then finally, those are spit out on the network and they're delivered by the network back to the client who then peels it apart. Oh, that's my layer two address. Oh, this is my IP address. It's UDP. It's using the port I did the request on. And yay, it's the answer to the DNS request that that client made a few moments ago. So that's just a, a fun way with some cups that we can help represent the encapsulation that happens from all the way from getting an application layer service and adding the transport protocol, the network IP address, the layer two information, and then finally sending it out on the wire. So in this nugget, I wanted to give you a slightly different way of looking at it and a story that involves some cups to help cement or reinforce the concept of a protocol stack working together to allow traffic and messages to be delivered over a network. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.